Hey Dave, where's our full-time travel taking us now? We ended up in Fort Davis State Park. Really neat old school park built by the CCC back in the 30s. They have a scenic drive. They have a Pueblo style lodge. Town of Fort Davis was there. Old school soda fountain. So cool. Day trip to Marfa. Oh yeah, Marfa. And the McDonald Observatory. Mm -hmm. yep, so right there's up. a lot to see and do. Yep. No, they had some great hikes there mm -hmm. and a dust storm. Fort Davis State Park. <laughs> yep. We are on the Skyline Drive Overlook Trail at Fort Davis State Park. That, that's called the Indian Lodge down there, that large white building. And it's um, like... For Indians. <laughs> or anybody else who wants oh, to stay okay. there. <laughs> the park is named after Confederate President Jefferson Davis. The mountains, Davis Mountains, are named after him. And they have an Indian Lodge. This is the Indian Lodge here at Davis Mountain State Park and I wanted to hike up and show you guys what this is like and check it out myself a little bit. This park was built by the Civilian Conservation Corps in 1933 and this adobe-like structure um, was built by the CCC. You can reserve rooms. It's kind of like a hotel lodge. It's got a pool, I think, and a restaurant. So hopefully they'll let me check it out. This is the lobby of the lodge. This is the town of Fort Davis, and it lies east of the state park. So I'm panning from east to west. Fort Davis, Texas. And this fort is named after Jefferson Davis. The whole mountain range is named after Jefferson the County, the mountain range, but uh, we're here to see the ruins from the old fort. Why is it named after Davis? He was the Secretary of War in 1850, 59? something like that, right before the Civil War broke out. Yeah, so this is the enlisted men's barracks that we're walking through now. It is an incredibly windy day, so we're going to try to get some video outside, but we're not going to be able to tell. In non-COVID times, they have reenactments of formations on the uh, parade grounds, and you can go in many of the buildings. So most of the buildings here are unrestored, and most of them are closed due to COVID, but we're gonna go into the hospital here. This one is open. That's surgery room, I guess. Ooh. At least we could peek through some of the windows, but COVID does affect travel right now. You can see the McDonald Observatory from the Skyline Drive trails, and uh, we decided to go there for a visit. You have to get tickets in advance, especially during COVID, but I think just about any time, it's a pretty popular venue. Normally, you can go inside the telescope buildings, but not right now. They slide apart from each other. They give us an opening so the telescope can see the sky above it. They originally put the observatory here because of the lack of light pollution. It's pretty remote. Deep in the heart of Texas, the stars are bright. And it was fascinating to learn about the newest telescope that they've built. It's by a group of universities and private benefactors, and they're probably going to win the Nobel Prize for their work on dark energy. Also see clear down to Marfa from the Skyline Drive Trail. Here we are in Davis Mountain State Park and we just finished a hike this morning. We're coming back and we're having a nice hearty lunch because we're going to head down to Marfa this afternoon. Big lunch. Big lunch. So David's cooking. David, tell us what you're cooking. Uh, I got onions working and chicken livers. Yay! My favorite. <laughs> I'm going to send this direct Marty. to my friend Marty. You know who you are. <laughs> so, have you ever heard of Marfa? Or have you ever been to Marfa? Let us know in the comments if you have. We're in Marfa, Texas. Um, it's famous for the filming of Giant and some other movies. And uh, a lot of stuff is closed. It's a very artsy community, but the galleries and stuff are still closed due to the pandemic. But we're going to walk around and see what we can find. There's supposed to be some kind of unique, kitschy things around here. This kitschy. Is kitschy, yeah. This is the USO building. It's um, also the visitor center. So here we go. Kitchy. We believe James Dean stayed here in the Hotel Paisano when they were filming Giant. Um, they filmed a lot of movies near Marfa, I think.
There's James Dean. in this palace theater they nightly screened movies of James Dean and Elizabeth Taylor while these stars were shooting the movie Giant right outside of town. Seven miles outside the town of Marfa, look what we found. This is um, some artist came out here in the desert and put up this tribute to the movie Giant. Probably most of you guys know James Dean was in it. Um, it was filmed in Marfa. It's pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty wacky. Marfa is an artsy town. This sure ain't Stafford. As far as you can see, there's no one, no body. This is awesome. Dave and I drove, um, I guess it's east of Marfa. There's the Marfa Light viewing area. They've got some wing telescopey things. We brought our binoculars. I'm not sure if we're gonna stay here until after dark. <laughs> it's a few hours. Uh, we thought we'd have more to do in Marfa, but stuff's closed. Anyway, there's these unexplained lights that show up in this horizon. And there are many different theories as to what causes them. But it might be aliens. It might be moonlight shining off mica. It might be swamp gas. Nobody seems to know. We might stay and check it out. We might go back and go to bed. I don't know. We're doing this 80 some miles scenic loop drive from Fort Davis back to Fort Davis on 118. This is Sawtooth Mountain. Yep, bristle pigs, right? Back in Virginia, we got whistle pigs. Groundhogs, but these are bristle pigs. They're not even pigs. Javelina. That snoot are working. Tell me that ain't a pig. <laughs> okay, so up along this ridge line, we keep seeing these piles of rocks like this. And the first one we saw, I said to David, I said, something is buried here. This is like the fourth pile. Big pile of rock. There's no stink. No stink? Well, that could have been a long time ago. And there's a little tiny one back there, so if this hypothesis holds up, it was a midget. So after this hike, we're gonna go. Where are we going? After the hike. Where are we going after the hike? I'm down in the town. And do some tourist shit. Get my tourist on. We're gonna go that little old-fashioned drugstore with a soda fountain. Right? Yeah. Yay for David. So we're leaving Texas in the Davis Mountains and headed into New Mexico next time. If you'd like, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and join us then.